Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Mechanist Lair, a new settlement added in the Automatron DLC. Okay, this is the main building area, so you can modify anything in this large room here. So it's quite big and there's lots of platforms here but you can remove them if you don't like them and change it to what you want. So up here there's a wee bit of radiation so I'm going to go and change into a hazmat suit. Okay, so we've got lots of computers here. There's little robots typing on these computers. So this area you can't modify inside here. It's only that large room that you can modify but this is a kind of like a living quarters. You can still use all the kind of facilities in this area. Like here we have a, a bedroom. Just turn the light on so it's a bit clearer. There's another wee room in here. And then here we've got some workbenches, a weapons bench, and a robot workbench. You can use these, but you can't change the position of them. It's always fascinating watching you create. We've got a power armor station thing. Okay, so let's go back out here and have another wee look around. So as you can see, you can build anything here. You can remove these parts if you want. And it goes right up into these rooms here, which can also, you can take the kind of panelling off there to redesign it. There are lots of kind of like moving parts at the top that look kind of cool. One thing I was a little disappointed in is that they didn't add any of the new building bots from the DLC to keep with the factory theme. Perhaps they will release some in a patch or maybe someone will create a mod to implement them in the game. Someone that is going to take on the task of redeveloping this area will need to think carefully about what they scrap as it might not be available again. But with a lot of imagination and skill this place could be made to look even more impressive. Hey, let's have a wander inside here. You can't build in here, but it's still quite a nice area to have a wee look around in. This area I thought would have been pretty cool to be able to build in, especially with the new add-on content where you're allowed to capture monsters. I could imagine having them in the cages here and being able to view them. And then there's also the switch here, <coughs> which enables you to open and close the doors. So you could have the monsters tucked away in their little cages and then oh, you can here. open them for mass chaos. That would have been pretty fun, I think. Okay, so have a wee look up at the stairs. So this is just above the cages here. You'd have also looked down on the fights and stuff from here as well. It'd have been pretty cool. I guess you can still do some basic things with that. But it's a wee bit more fiddly to move objects rather than using the kind of building mode with the workshop. Okay, so let's have a wee look at the other side. This is like a factory area here. 
See, th those are the kind of parts that would have been pretty cool to have, like all the moving things and so on. And just kind of tidying up the area as well. Having these would have been pretty cool. This is where you come in at the start of the mission, which gives you access to the settlement. Go check so out. So you can't really do anything with these security doors. Check it out. It's probably a good idea to wear the hazmat suit in here because there are quite a few parts with radiation. I almost forgot about this place. There's a wee room off to the north. It can also be accessed via the kind of prisons area as well, which you'll see at the end of the video. Now I quite like this area here. It's like a kind of factory area where they were working on all the robots and the humans as well. See, these are more of the things that I'd quite like to have access to for the settlement. Another power armor station. So we've got these kind of glass jars in here where the brains are stored. A kind of wee trolley thing as well. And we've got a kind of mortuary here. Where they kind of furnace at the back to cremate the bodies. It's a little dark in here, but it kind of adds to the kind of creepy atmosphere. This is kind of like a scientific lab type thing. And they've got all these tracks you can see everywhere and therefore transporting all the bodies around the various areas in the facility. This is kind of like a, a sort of a laser area.
We'll just have a rebook around here while we're waiting on the lift. And we're back to the prison area. Overall I'm pretty happy with the new settlement. It does take a bit of time to go into this area because it's quite large. I would have preferred for more areas to be customizable, but I can understand there being limitations. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed viewing this new settlement area.